Is my background blurry? Do I look like a professional YouTuber? What's up everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome. For today's video, I am talking about one of my favorite things in the entire world and that is fragrances. I have two fears in life. People throwing up, I know, it's a weird fear. I've had it my whole life. And then also smelling bad. I guess I can kind of go hand in hand. I've developed a love and a passion for fragrances that I just love sharing with everyone. And I love talking about my favorite fragrances and sharing my favorite fragrances and I want everyone to smell amazing. So today I'm sitting down and telling you guys all about my favorite fragrances for fall. Fall? Whoa. <laughs> We're fully in winter. I mean, technically not yet, but where I live, it's winter. I guess these are my favorite fragrances for the holiday season. Um, I'm feeling very festive. I'm wearing green today. I'm actually wearing all green, a whole green outfit. This video, wait for it, wait for it, is in collaboration with Sephora. You should have seen me when I got this email that Sephora wanted to collab with me. I nearly passed away. I could not believe it. Little old me, Sephora wants to work with me. I just, I can't believe it. So I'm working with them um, on this video because they are having their Fragrance for All event where you can get 20% off any full-size fragrance in the US and 15% off any full-size fragrance in Canada. This is the perfect time to stock up on your favorite fragrances, buy gifts. I am going to be recommending my favorite fragrances to gift in this video, especially for men. I have you covered, girls, if you have to buy for your dad or your boyfriend. And it's also a really good time to just test out new fragrances. This video is in collaboration with Sephora, so all of the fragrances that I'm going to be mentioning today can be purchased and found at Sephora. Sephora. So the event is going on from December 13th till December 24th. The code for the event is fragrance 20 and let's say you need a last minute gift or you just can't wait, you want your fragrance so badly. They're also giving the option to have same day shipping if you use the code same day at checkout. So without further ado, let's get into the video. And I don't know about you, but I get new fragrances every season because for me, I associate smells and fragrances with memories. I just got my new fragrance in for this holiday season and I'm gonna talk all about it because it is probably my favorite one. The perfume that I picked for my 2021 holiday fragrance is Tom Ford Tobacco Vanilla. I love vanilla. Vanilla is one of my all time favorite scents. I just find it so warm and inviting and I feel like it smells good on everyone. And this one is a woody and a spicy fragrance. And when I smell it, I smell gingerbread. So the key notes are vanilla, tobacco, vanilla, and ginger. And I really smell the combination of vanilla and ginger. Now I do have a few fragrances I'm gonna recommend to you guys that have a stronger vanilla scent. I definitely don't pick up vanilla first, but it smells like maybe like a ginger, vanilla kind of cake. I love how on top of the tobacco, which gives it a little bit more of like a mm to it, you have the vanilla, which really balances out and I find makes it um, a little bit more feminine. So overall, just a really amazing fragrance. If you're looking for a fragrance that encompasses all of the holiday smells, this is it. The next fragrance I picked up for this holiday season is Love Don't Be Shy by Killian. So this one got really popular because it is apparently the perfume that Rihanna wears. And I want to smell like Rihanna. I mean, who doesn't? And she's known to smell very good. This is considered a warm floral, but to me, this is truly a very sweet scent. If you love sweet, if you love smelling like a treat, like you want to smell like a dessert, this is the fragrance for you. So the key notes are orange blossom, vanilla, and marshmallow. And I definitely get that marshmallow deliciousness in this fragrance. It's not too overpowering, but just be careful. It is a very sweet fragrance. I still find it appropriate for the daytime and this perfume lasts all day, weeks, months even on you. Okay, the next fragrance I want to talk about, I've talked about many times. Oh, 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 oh. YSL Libre. Now, this is where fragrances get a little bit confusing to me because this is considered a warm floral as well, just like the last perfume I talked about. It smells completely different, like so different. When I smell this, okay, I smell a stunning, rich, but hardworking, like she earned that money herself, beautiful, ambitious, 
sexy woman. Like this is my go-to nighttime perfume. This one just makes me feel powerful. The top notes on this are lavender, orange blossom, and vanilla. Can you sense a theme? There's vanilla in every fragrance I talk about. Number four is Mont by Guerlain. Guerlain. I don't know. I've lived in Quebec my whole life. I still can't speak French. This is a fan favorite among women and I was researching it, trying to get an idea of what it smelled like and I heard this one described as a wife. And you know, that's just the energy I'm trying to attract. This one is also one of my go-to nighttime perfumes. It just gives a very sexy vibe, but this one is more warm and spicy. Whereas YSL Lib was definitely more florally. This one definitely has a little bit more spice to it, but it is still very feminine. This one I also tend to wear more during the day. I feel like it's more versatile. You can wear it during the day and you can wear it also at night. And I'm recommending it for the winter because it does have a little bit more spice but this is really a perfume that I wear all year round and the top notes in this are jasmine lavender and vanilla I definitely get the lavender in this I know you guys were probably waiting for this one because I don't stop talking about it but number five by the way these are in no particular order I'm just listing them as they come to me. Number five is the K. Ali Vanilla Perfume, Vanilla 28. If you were to buy any perfume from this list, I would recommend this one. I know so many of you who have purchased this because of me and you love it. If you are ever wondering what I smell like 90% of the time, it is this. It is perfect for the daytime and it's also perfect for the nighttime. If you're wondering, what perfume to wear on a first date it's this one I feel like it is very intriguing it's like wow you smell so good but you don't smell like the typical girl nothing wrong with smelling like a typical girl i smell like that all the time this just has an element that is so much more intriguing and delicious. This vanilla perfume is the only true vanilla perfume I wear because it doesn't smell fake and gross. If I could only have one perfume for the rest of my life, it's this one. I get the most compliments on this perfume above any other fragrance that I own. I was just at a little dinner party at one of my friend's house the other day and her mom was like, what are you wearing? And it was this. So it really is a fan favorite from everyone. I mean, I can go on about this perfume all day long. It's perfect in every single way. Um, if they ever discontinue it, I will cry myself to sleep every night. So number six, Sol de Janeiro Cherosa 62. I probably butchered that, but this baby, this baby, I've gifted this to, I wanna say four people now. Obviously, I think by now everyone knows what Sol de Janeiro, their Boom Boom Cream smells like, and this fragrance just smells like that. So the keynotes in this are salted caramel, pistachio, and vanilla. I love this perfume for during the day, so I don't really wear this at night because even though it is a very sweet fragrance, I feel like this smells like perhaps you could just smell like this like maybe it's a body cream that you use like the bum bum cream um but it's not too overpowering it's not as sweet as let's say killian love don't be shy and i definitely can smell the salted caramel this is also a great fragrance if you're going on vacation because it has like I want to say maybe like a little bit of a tropical vibe even though it doesn't have any coconut in it or typical tropical fragrances oh my god it smells so good okay number seven is actually a cologne this is spice bomb i have the infrared one but i don't notice a difference between any of them so this one gives me kind of the same vibe as the first fragrance tobacco vanilla that i talked about but definitely has a more masculine note to it so i'm huge on wearing colognes i feel like a cologne on a woman uh, will smell completely different than a cologne on a man obviously perfume smells differently on everyone this is truly as the name says a spicy fragrance i smell cinnamon angel share by killian i find smells exactly the same um as this one so i was gonna buy angel share by killian but it it's just too similar to this number eight is the only kind of fresh scent that i want to recommend and i know i had to put one in there because you know not everyone loves spice and vanilla in all of their fragrances but 
This is matcha meditation from Replica. I've come to realize that I actually love the smell of matcha. I don't know why. Um, I, it's not a typical fragrance or scent that I would have assumed that I would like because I actually really dislike matcha. I know, unpopular opinion, I find it tastes like grass. But this smells very clean, very fresh, but also there's like a deeper creaminess to it. It's like you're fresh, you're clean, but you still smell delicious and like I want to eat you. Is that too much? The keynotes in this are bergamot and matcha. This is, I find, a very good daily, everyday fragrance. Number nine, I actually don't have here because I was actually going to buy it during the sale and my best friend Nikki said, don't buy it, I bought it for you for Christmas. So this one I wanna recommend because it is absolutely divine. I remember first smelling it on um, my hairdresser, Aaron, when he was doing my hair when I was in Toronto and I was like, what are you wearing? I need it, I need it in my life. So it's a very good unisex fragrance. It is sweet, but it has like that coffee shop deeper layer to it. It is Shocker, another warm and spicy scent, but this one does have like a fresh zing to it. It's not as like spice bomb, deep, sultry, sexy. It has that fresher element to it. On the same note, you guys are probably shocked that I don't have By the Fireplace um, on this list, and that's because I actually don't like that fragrance. I don't know what it is, it gives me a headache and I don't I don't really love it. The keynotes in Coffee Break are coffee, lavender, and milk mousse, which I don't know what that means, but there you go. I did want to recommend another men's cologne to you, which I wear all the time because I personally love mixing fragrances. So this one, um, which is YSL Y, I love mixing with Libre. They just smell so good together. I know it's not for everyone. I actually made a lot of people upset when I said that I mix fragrances. But for me, like why just stop at the fragrance? You can mix it together. And I love mixing men's cologne with women's perfume it just adds like such a good element i first figured this out when i was in paris with my friend michelle and he was spraying his cologne and i was spraying my perfume and it smelled like a literal heaven on earth ysl has a lot of amazing colognes this one is the complete opposite of spice bomb this one smells very fresh and very clean i picture this like when i close my eyes and i smell it i picture just like a really beautiful like businessman clean shaven in a nice suit all right you guys so those are the 10 fragrances i'm recommending to you guys for all year round but really for the holiday season they make great gifts for a loved one or for yourself i'm a firm believer in buying yourself a christmas gift i just want to thank sephora once again for collaborating with me on this video truly a dream come true i will leave all of the links um, and the codes down below as per usual don't forget to subscribe before you go i hope you guys are having a wonderful day and i'll see you guys back here next time